Today, I wish to update you on an essential piece of legislation that just got passed that will impact the California housing landscape. Governor Newsom, our favorite governor of all time, approved a law that rezoned land that's owned by nonprofit colleges and religious institutions, such as churches, mosques, and synagogues, to allow for affordable housing. Starting in 2024, they can bypass most local permitting and environmental review rules that can be costly and lengthy. The law is set to expire in 2036. Given that California is roughly home to one third of the homeless population, that's crazy. The growing Yes in God's Backyard movement signifies a collaborative effort among religious organizations to address the pressing concern. Historically, challenges like zoning restrictions have prevented these bodies from optimally utilizing their land. A study was done by UC Berkeley which found out there is approximately 170,000 acres of land that could be redeveloped under this law. However, it's worth noting that there are several cities that have expressed hesitation towards this. In tandem with this, Governor Newsom, in collaboration with Senator Scott Weiner, has revived a 2018 housing law set to benefit multifamily housing projects. The original law, which took effect in 2018 and is set to expire in 2026, allows housing developers to bypass most local permitting processes for multifamily housing projects in cities falling short of the state-mandated housing goals. This law has helped fast-track more than 19,000 homes, and this new law will allow the original law to extend by 10 years. And as you know, real estate changes daily, so it's critical to stay up to date with these new information. I'm Mike Bobacani of Martin Mac Properties. Stay tuned for more educational videos and informative videos. So if you like this video, comment below, subscribe, give me a thumbs up.